bid final farewell to the late Dr. Bernard Nottage. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. Topping the news, a final farewell held today for former Minister of National Security and Member of Parliament for Bain and Grantstown, Dr. Bernard Nottage, who was hailed as a nation builder and one who served his country with distinction until the very end. Our Janaya Noel Ferguson reports tonight on the official funeral at St. Agnes Anglican Church. The remains of Dr. The Honorable Bernard Nottage hoisted by the armed forces, then carted away from the House of Assembly, a place where he spent most of his political life, fully regaled a reflection of all that he stood for and the country that he served and loved. His final journey to the St. Agnes Anglican Church, where he was eulogized family, friends, dear loved ones, and representatives from all sides of the political divide, gathered reflecting on the life of this 70 plus year old who served his nation as an athlete, physician, leader, politician, friend, and father. His son Brian, speaking on behalf of his siblings, shared intimate moments spent with his dad who nurtured and helped to weave the tapestry of his life. Well, Dr. Nardage, affectionately known as BJ, Bernie, Jay, Uncle Gray here, my father, my hero, and my dad. BJ fought for this country and had your back even when you didn't know it. So I say to you, Nottage family, fill his shoes. Carry on the wisdom and the character he imparted on you. Now in remembrance of their father who lived life, Brian and his brother Patrick sang one of Dr. Nottage's favorite songs. But more than this, I did it my way. I love you, Dad. Former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, remembered the former parliamentarian as a nationalist who put service and country above self. He was a major success story. Throughout his life, he did this nation proud in whatever it was he set his hand to. Future generations should see him as a person of high achievement, worthy of emulation and eternal esteem. The name Bernard Nottage will forever signify the best in public service. Hopefully the name Bernard Nottage will inspire leaders now and forever with all that represents shining unblemished integrity. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis also remembered Dr. Nottage as a mentor. The Prime Minister revealed details of how Nottage helped him to survive his career in medicine and his most troubling times in politics. When I was fired by my colleagues, <laughs> my friend and teacher and mentor, BJ, came to me and said, consider and look at what has happened to you as a medical complication. So Portia, I want to say thank you. My survival through the 80s and recently is as a result of BJ's mentorship and advice to me. A message of love and hope from Rector of St. Agnes, Father Ranfully Brown, who admonished those in attendance to never take for granted an opportunity to be their brother's keeper. All, says, all this nonsense that go on in this church in the Bahamas missed the point of what it is to be Christian. To be Christian is to love God and to love your neighbor. Nothing else. Following the service, Dr. Nottage's remain exited the church draped in the Bahamian flag. A military guard proceeded to the Lakeview Cemetery where the former parliamentarian was interred. May his soul rest in peace. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.